Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for July 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Now, also in the description box, you will find um, links to calculate both your Eastern and Western astrological, astrological charts. I have put those links back in. I wanted to do that for a while. I removed a lot of stuff from the description box because I felt like it was too busy, but I put that back in. So I recommend that you calculate both and just compare them. See which ones work best for you. Yes, which ones you resonate more, maybe your Eastern verse or your Western. I know I personally resonate a lot with the Eastern chart most of the time, more than I do the Western, but Anyway, that's totally up to you. You do whatever you like. If you're good with where you what you know already, then stick with what you know. I ain't got to change nothing. But if you're curious and you just like to see, go right ahead. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's get into the reading. Yeah, um, I was channeling your energies and I, I have a bit of a pre-shuffle here. First and foremost, there's a lot of fiery energy going on around you. Um, as I was channeling your energy, Libra, I was seeing light blue, which often I see with air signs. But the message the light blue energy was giving me was that of communication. And I was kind of feeling like you were going to be or you are in a position where you are um, trying to like delegate or not delegate, um, mitigate between opposing parties, almost as if you're like the judge in some sort of situation this could be legal there, there could be a legal aspect but i don't really feel like that's it's that bad or it's that serious i just feel like you are the the, the the person that's in the middle trying to keep the peace which makes sense as a libran that tends to be a role that you guys um adopt pretty often now what what was what's funny about that is the first card as i was i was going through that and i was feeling through that energy and i was like wow okay but then the first card that came out five of wands i feel like this is fan this has to do with family and then it's because of the rest of the cards that came out here but the biggest thing that i'm feeling that feeling is about family um in the rest of the cards that came out here you have the ace of wands the four of wands the ten of wands the two of wands and then underneath the deck is the three of wands there is a lot of fiery energy a lot of passionate energy what i'm feeling like is there's a choice that needs to be made here that is going to set the course of your future this is a very serious choice that needs to be made it could have to do with your home your family life maybe you are Maybe you have a family and you're trying to decide, you know, um, maybe there's, there's, there's energies of needing to relocate. Uh, uh, I, you, maybe you're, you're moving. I just, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm having trouble getting specifics. All I'm feeling, all I know is that this is a big decision with a lot of opposing sides, a lot of opposing opinions, okay? There could be a lot of people whose insight you need to take into account here, or there could just be a lot of people trying to put their two cents in where it may not necessarily belong. But either way, I feel like you are the person that has to keep the peace, keep the balance, and ultimately, like you either have to make the decision, like you're the you're the decision making maker here, or you're kind of like collecting all the data to present to whoever is in charge of making some sort of decision. And you could have a say in that in the sense of collecting the data and then analyzing it and giving your, I guess we could say expert opinion here. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's let's get into this and see what else we got for you for the month of July, uh, Libra. Keep in mind that these readings are in fact timeless. So just because it's coming out, the message is dated for July of 2019. It doesn't mean it has to resonate with you or for you for that month. It could be any old time down the road. Uh, you might want to come back at the end of the month and see how it resonates, see if things may have changed. The Empress just came out. Um, some of you are worried about whether or not you'll have what you need to make this work. Ooh, and there you are, Justice Libra. Um, 
But between the Empress and Justice now, first the Empress was saying, you're going to have, you have everything that you need. You have everything that you need to get this done. Okay, you can do this. You got the goddess, the empress behind you. You have that empress energy about you, which is abundant and free flowing and unconditionally loving. You can do this. Justice will be served. Everything is going to work out. Balance is going to be kept. Order is going to be kept. The hanged man is also underneath the deck. Um, there's been a change in perspective. Or there is a change in perspective coming. There's some sort of suspension here that is... Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. All right, I'm going to stop shuffling. I'm just going to keep going. All right, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of July 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, there is a heavy, there is heavy energy of wanting to move or wanting to relocate. And I'm seeing orange now for you, Libra, and that's influencing me to tell you to focus on your emotions. Focus on, on how you feel about something. Less on how the logic aspect of it. Um, and really, because, give me this five shuffles for you, Libra. I feel like you kind of, to a certain extent, have like exhausted your options when it comes to approaching something from a logical point of view. So now you have to say, okay, well, forget the logic. How do I feel about this? How do I feel about that? If I were to do this, how would that make me feel? If I were to do that, how would that make me feel? I feel like your emotions are really going to be a deciding factor for you in whatever it is you're choosing. One last shuffle. Uh, there, a move is big. I'm, I'm feeling big energies of like moving homes, relocating, moving the family to a new area. And it's like, instead of looking at it as from a logical point of view, look at it as, because I feel like somebody has an option where they're kind of like, yeah, well actually, on paper or logically, it makes more sense for me to move to this place or go in this direction. But gosh, I really just don't want to go that way. I, I really want to go this way. This, this way feels great. But logically, it makes more sense. It makes more sense to go in this other direction, but I just don't want to do that. I want to go this way. Follow that, follow your intuition. Because you never know, you may end up, if you choose the, the, logical, uh, the logical choice, the, 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 the logical option, and disregard your emotions or how you feel about it, you may end up hating that other. Yeah, sure, like on paper it made sense, but I just can't stand it here. Go with what your heart is telling you. First card, Libra, Wheel of Fortune. There is a big change, yes. Cycles coming to an end, yes. Karma closing out, yes. Which for some of you is leading, it's like leaving the doorway or the pathway open for you to move forward. So the message here in the Wheel of Fortune, because I am literally seeing almost like a roulette wheel, I feel like you're in a place right now, Libra, where you know, you spun the wheel and now you're waiting to see where it falls. You need to maintain your alignment to what it is you truly want, uh, what it is you feel that you want, or at least the direction that you're feeling called to move in. Maintain a positive alignment, a high vibrational alignment with whatever it is you're moving towards so that to ensure that no matter where the Wheel of Fortune actually lands, it's going to benefit you and you're not going to get stuck with something that, you know, is 
undesirable or unsatisfying because you were in a low vibrational alignment or a negative alignment. You were a, a, aligning to whatever the wheel could bring you from a place of fear rather than love and openness. Yes? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Underneath that you have, ooh boy, the Three of Swords. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles followed by the Two of Pentacles. And then the King of Cups wanted to show himself. He's under there. But, um, okay. All right. Well, we could be dealing with a breakup. We also could potentially be dealing with a divorce. But the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is absolutely talking about some sort of independence here. Independence that was gained from dealing with some sort of heartbreaking, heartbreaking situation. It could be a breakup of a, of a relationship. Um, it could even be like a job, you know? There was some sort of backstabbing cheating, stealing, lying, blah, 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 all those negative things, those heartbreaking things that the Three of Swords represents. And now, uh, and I'm, I'm definitely seeing the Two of Pentacles here as very much your energy, Libra, in the sense of maintaining the balance. It really could just be that this Three of Swords energy is the heartbreak surrounding the change that's happening. It doesn't even need to mean that, you know, you're breaking up with someone or you, you've been hurt by someone or some sort of situation. It really could be the heartbreak coming from having to move, leaving a, a, a familiar space, you know, leaving a town that you've grown up in or a town that you lived in, a city that you lived in for a long time that you're really quite attached to. That that's heartbreaking in the sense, yes, but the energy that I'm feeling here, especially with this Nine of Pentacles, that ultimately everything is going to be okay. You know, your autonomy is intact. Your independence is intact. Okay. With the King of Cups being underneath this Two of Pentacles here, I really feel like there is an energy of emotional maturity that's coming into play allowing your emotions to have some sort of weight, have some sort of say, some sort of pull, honoring and honoring your emotions, taking them seriously, your feelings, taking them seriously. Okay, doing something with them, not real not just pushing them to the side, but in in actuality honoring and respecting and listening to your emotional side. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, Libra. Now keep in mind that we're going first half, second half of the reading. Could be first half, second half of the month. I recommend that you try and look at it more as first half, second half of the reading because energies are fluid. So the messages can intertwine in any way. But you do what's best for you. Yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Libra. We have the Hierophant. Very interesting. So the Hierophant here, this just feel, this feels like a very similar energy to the Virgo reading that I just did. Because the Virgo reading, you were in the Virgo reading, somebody was leaving some sort of establishment behind because they've learned that lesson that came with dealing with that established establishment way of being, whatnot, whatever. And so that's kind of what I'm feeling here for you, Libra. But also there could be an attempt to keep things in the form of the status quo. I feel like you may be approaching a situation from a very um, typical point of view. Uh, it could be stereotypical. Um, keeping up with the status quo instead of really going in a new direction here. Some of you may be feeling like you want to go in a new direction and like you're, you're staring this established energy in the face saying, I don't know if I want to continue going in this or handling it this way. 
The Hierophant is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, we could also be talking about a marriage. Hierophant does represent, can represent marriage, commitment. I, honestly, Libra, I feel like you've come to the end of this lesson. And now it's time to start learning the more obscure lessons, going off the beaten path. The Ten of Pentacles to me is a completion, yes, um, is time, is an investment, is being in, invested in something for the long haul. Um, it's also, in my opinion, it's also a completion of a message, or uh, I'm sorry, a completion of a lesson. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here with this Hierophant. You really might want to watch the Virgo reading. I don't know. I don't know why that might really resonate with you, but that's kind of what it feels like a very similar energy to what Virgo was dealing with this month. You even have a representation of Virgo here in the Nine of Pentacles. But then also you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is card number 10, and you have 10 here, which is the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you've come to a place where you really are closing out a cycle. And that's why I was also hearing this karmic energies, karmic cycles are closing out with the Wheel of Fortune. And now you're kind of just standing there in your independence, having learned your lessons and having actually done work, very good work in order to learn these lessons. And now you're watching the wheel turn like, okay, what's next? But maintain your highest a, a, a vibrational alignment to your life, your path, where, you know, what the universe could be bringing to you next to make sure to ensure that, you know, you're not getting handed a steaming pile of shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, you have the nine of wands. All right. That makes a whole lot of sense. Being battered and bruised. I mean, this situation, whatever it is you're closing out here, man, it was not an easy challenge it was not an easy situation to be in you know it really may have put you through the ringer nine of wands and it could even be the energy that you're in right now is like so incredibly intense especially with all of like the wands energy with the five of wands that came out in the pre-shuffle i mean you may be getting it from all different sides but this really just kind of feels like a final test to really close out the cycle all right, so perseverance, and I don't even want to really call it a test. It's just like the final push, you know, like uh, uh, if you're giving birth, like if a woman is giving birth and she's, you know, she's pushing and pushing and pushing. And then finally, there's just that last, that last push that gets the baby out. That's what this kind of feels like here. Okay. Nine of wands is coupled with, woo, and there's that five of swords now. Oh boy, Libra. Um, if you're in the middle of some sort of situation with like a, a group of people or like, you know, another person or whatnot, whatever, if, things might be really vicious. Might be really, really vicious. And I really feel like, Libra, you're getting caught in the crosshairs here. And with this Nine of Wands energy, it feels like, now you could also be a, an integral part of this situation, but what I'm feeling for this energy from your point of view, Libra, this Nine of Wands energy is you trying to keep the peace, like really going at it, trying to keep people from ripping each other to shreds. Now, on the other hand, you could be moving forward from a situation in which this energy was all around you. This Five of Swords energy was all around you. It just, ugh, I don't like that. I mean, regardless of the specific circumstances, I do feel like you're doing a very, very good job of keeping yourself maybe out of the line of fire or keeping yourself from... Um, or helping to try and keep the peace. And if that's the case, and they're really, people are really starting to get vicious, do not put yourself in the line of fire just to get taken down because other people wanna be petty assholes. Like, no, don't do that to yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I feel like some of you are working really, really hard to keep people from, again, 
ripping each other to shreds. But uh, honestly, that's not your responsibility, Libra, to be quite honest. Even though I know you have that desire to keep things balanced, keep things in check, be the peacemaker and all that shit, don't put yourself at risk of danger just to do that for others. When it doesn't even really feel like they're recognizing it. I almost feel like you're being used as a pawn for these people. Where your intention is to try and keep the peace, but theirs is to try and use you as collater collateral to get an edge in whatever fight, petty, stupid ass fight they're fighting, <laughs> okay? Uh, your challenge in the first half of the reading here, you have the Two of Wands again. Making a decision. And I really feel like this decision is has a lot to do with squashing whatever fight is going on here, or argument, or challenge, whatever. Two of Wands is coupled with, ah, the Ten of Swords. Putting it to rest. Some of you may be moving, yes, some of you may be moving um, as a result of an ending of a situation. Again, we could be talking about the breakup of a, of a relationship, an established relationship, maybe even a marriage. I'm definitely seeing for someone that you're having to choose where to go now. And again, especially if you're coming out of a situation that was really heartbreaking. Follow what feels best. Yes, logic is important, but so is your intuition, so are your emotions, so are your feelings. So if you're trying to choose which way to go or which direction to move in, focus on what would feel best for you, not what logically makes the most sense. At least, let your emotions have a little more weight or say in the situation, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Libra, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a harvest time, okay? This is absolutely about taking what you have learned or in this specific situation, taking all of the evidence that is before you and making a decision moving forward. And also in terms of moving forward from some sort of situation that may have been very heartbreaking and is, is coming to an end, um, understanding where it is you've come from versus where it is you're trying to go and making sure you stay in alignment with that and now not allowing yourself to recreate anything that um, you may have experienced in the past that you no longer want to experience. I mean, it's one thing to complete a lesson it's another to complete a lesson and then pack it away in a place where you can allow the, the, the lesson to continue to influence your life in a beneficial way. So what I'm saying here is learn the lesson, but then don't forget about it, you know? Like finish, finish the course, finish the task, but then don't move forward completely having having completely forgotten what it is you learned right seven of pentacles is coupled with ah the six of wands excellent i like that whatever it is you've learned here whatever it is it's come to an end ten of pentacles ten of swords wheel of fortune also um i mean you learned a great deal and it's setting you up for something real great victory and I know it may not necessarily, especially if you're dealing with a breakup, I've, I feel like there's definitely, there, I'm picking up some strong breakup energies here, um, leaving the past behind you and moving. Moving out, moving to a new location in some way. So even though it may not feel like a victory or feel good at this moment, it actually is very good. Very, very good. It's setting you free. That's what I feel like. There is a lot of freedom that's coming forward with this Six of Wands energy, okay? Which is great.
You may have been, some of you may have been in a really controlling situation. Represented by the Hierophant here. And to be honest, on a soul level, yes, I can confirm that you did in fact choose to be in that situation, but so that you could learn from it, okay? And it really feels like for whoever I'm picking up channeling for right now, this feels like you really have learned it. You've learned that lesson. Now it's time to move forward with a new sense of freedom that is going to allow you to create something much better for you, much more than you could have expected. Yes? That's beautiful. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, you have the world. Yes. Yes in diddly do you really might want to check out the virgo reading because this really does feel like it's there's a lot of similar things that are happening between the two signs um but the world is a completion is literally the culmination of everything and finishing out closing out that cycle getting ready for the next one which which commences with the fool which is the next card which is the the first card in the major arcana but as you're moving in that cycle you go from the world and then you recircle back to the fool and i feel like you're getting to that place i really do feel like the world represents the, the world card here represents you being in that energy of allowing everything to just close out and in in tandem with that or at the same time you have the wheel of fortune energy here which is basically the universe shuffling the deck and saying okay what's next as things close out, as cycles close out and come to a completion, it gets you one step closer to that next thing. The world is coupled with <laughs> the king of swords. Woo, okay. Um, but see, this is that judge energy I was picking up on. All right, this is, this is, it could be you. Technically, this is Aquarius energy, but it could, it could be you, Libra, or it could be a Gemini, but... Um, this is that judge energy, the diplomat, diplomacy, making some sort of decision that really closes out the cycle, maybe ends the argument. Now, advice here, as this cycle is closing out, Libra, your advice is to really work on seeing things clearly as they truly are. I, I'm not really getting much more than that. It's just being in a position to really see clearly, to really focus on seeing something as it truly is, not necessarily the way you may want it to be. That could be that could have a lot to do with that. The, what I was picking up on for someone that wants to move and is really focused on what logically best versus what's emotionally best, what's gonna feel right. And I already feel like with this King of Swords energy, you know exactly why the logical reason may not be the best option for you, but yet it's the logical reason, so you're already leaning towards it. But in this case, you need to see it for what it is and go with the feeling. That's weird, especially with that King of Swords energy because the King and Queen of Swords are like so emotionally detached. I, I really just feel like you have to balance logic with intuition here, Libra, okay? Okay, your second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, you have, uh, oh, look, the Two of Cups. Balance, harmony, union, these are things I'm hearing. Um, getting that balance between masculine and feminine together, sure. And it could be from this place that you are making your solid decision or your foundation and you're moving forward or you have a foundation in this and now you're moving forward from this place. Two of Cups could also represent a relationship. Two of Cups is coupled with the sun. Ooh. Leo energy. Huh. Huh. 
what I want to say here is uh, what if there's a relationship situation that's going on here, the, the message is spirit is saying everything's okay. Even if you're going through a, a massive breakup or a breakup that's a really big change for you. Ultimately, the sun is shining. Everything is going to be okay. This is also, this is illuminating the relationship between the two of you. If we're talking about a relationship here. Seeing clearly the world, King of Swords. Seeing things clearly enough to be able to put things to rest, to end the situation. Also, what I'm getting here is that you're going to love again. There is going to be another individual that you will be able to align with. But you see, you don't want to create, recreate the situation that you were in before. So let the let this the cycle close out. Let the situation play out. Um, let yourself learn the lesson. Give yourself some time to really integrate the lesson, and then move forward from there. Yes. I feel like some of you may have really gotten a very strong lesson in relationships that you may have needed for a long time and now you're closing out, you've, 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 you've healed or you're healing this aspect, you're learning, you've learned the lesson and now you can move forward towards something that's even better. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have letting go the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles came out in the Virgo reading as well. You might want to watch that. Your challenge is letting go. I'm hearing pride. Pride and ego are something that are keeping you from letting go of something that you know you need to let go of. Or you are now aware of the fact that you need to let go of. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, there's the Empress again. Oof, there's definitely a smother type energy going on here. The Empress is represents an energy of someone that, uh, 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 an unconditionally loving energy. The Empress is the type of individual or the type of being that would, that, you know, loves everything, especially her children, everyone unconditionally and only wants to give the best. Often the Empress can be an energy or sometimes the Empress can be an energy of um, enabling, giving too much. The challenge here is to let go of something in order to love it. Letting go of something or someone with unconditional love. Saying, if this is what you truly want, then by all means, go for it. Now, that's not easy. Especially if you really love something or love someone. But do you really love? Interesting. Do you really love this person or this thing? Or does this person really love you? If they just want to keep you trapped in some way, or if you just want to keep them trapped. I feel like there's selfishness here in, interesting, in mask, masking this uh, self, uh, this Empress energy is masking some sort of selfishness in not wanting to let something go. And your challenge here is just to let it go. Just let it go. If you love something, that's what I'm hearing. If you love something, let it go. If you love someone, let it go. And allow it to be. Allow it them or it to be what it or they truly are or what they want to be. Allow them to go in the direction that they want to go in. Like I'm seeing an energy of a mother that doesn't want to accept the fact that their child is growing up and is moving out of the house, moving on with their life. Doesn't have to be a mother-child dynamic, but that's the energy that I'm feeling, okay? Interesting. Your closing message or potential outcome, Libra, you have, uh, oh, 
the moon to your sun now. That's interesting. Pisces or Cancer. You might be entering a dark night of the soul situation here. Like the sun illuminated some sort of relationship aspect and now you're needing to let go and move forward, which can, whew, which can be a pretty dark time. But also, this is confirmation that some of you really need to pay more attention to your intuition and less on the logical aspects of the situation. For example, you could be in a relationship where logically or physically or to your physical eyes, you're seeing one thing, but then you know something different is happening underneath the surface. Like you may have a partner or a spouse who is treating you one way where you and anyone else, everyone else around you could see that they're doing X, Y, and Z, which are good things. And so technically this is like a little bit of a gaslighting thing in the sense that, well, I'm do you see me doing X, Y, and Z, so there's really no reason for you to be upset or mad at me. Where on the other hand, inside or intuitively, you're like, wait a second. Yes, you're doing A, B, and C, but what's really happening is X, Y, and Z. And I know this is happening because my intuition is telling me but logically, it's not perceivable. I hope that made sense. You need to be focusing on your intuition here. Following the guidance that your heart is giving you. That your emotions are giving you. The moon is coupled with ha, the ace of wands. Libra, you know what's going on here. Don't let the narcissists fool you. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Ace of Wands, you know, you have the inspiration. You have the intuitive insight, the moon. You gotta trust yourself. And this is also an energy of moving forward in darkness and without really being able to see fully what's ahead of you, but that's okay. Just get the ball rolling. Yeah? All right, Libra. Let's get to your Oracle guidance now for your month of July. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2019. Libra, Libra, Libra. One more shuffle here for my Libras. For my Libras. All right, here we go, Libra. Best message for the month of July for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus here. Libra, here we go. All right. So you have card number <clears throat> 35. Conscious Connections. Okay. Here we go. There is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships. There is an opening for heart-to-heart -heart communication that can salvage and restore a broken relationship or friendship if you are willing to honor your differences and look to what unites you. Sometimes it is hard to bear the differences between one another. One person may be willing to live life in high definition, whilst others may prefer to live it more vicariously until they have the confidence to step onto the center stage of their own life story. We are not here to judge each other, just to love, to be loved, and to let go of those that cannot accept us as we, as we open up to those who can. This oracle brings guidance for you to trust in the sanctity of, your, of the connections in your life. If you, had, if you have asked to experience a more sacred connection with people who truly, quote, get you and want to play life with you rather than at odds with or against you, 
then this oracle is confirmation that this manifestation is on its way to you now. It may or may not be obvious at first, but kindred spirits are going to enter your life to help you connect with your deeper feelings and creativity. They will give wings to your inspirational ideas and big dreams. If you have been asking for healing in your current, relation, uh, current friendships or other immediate relationships, know that this can happen through your willingness to express your true feelings and allow the situation to either fall apart or come together according to the greater workings of life. Sometimes the webs have, uh, sorry, sometimes the webs that have joined people together are broken and that is appropriate as people may outgrow what once held them together. Sometimes the ties that bind us together are so strong that they are able to withstand a great deal of pressure and still remain intact. The webs of connection between us will sever or sustain based on the higher wisdom of life itself. Either way, healing happens in the resolution of our feelings and we are once again able to feel free, forgive, and be ready to move on to the next stage of relating either with the person who has been in connection with us for a time or with someone new. This oracle asks you to remain open to healing connections and to allow people to be close to you. Trust in the process that draws people in and out of your life. Resist nothing and seek wisdom in all. So there you have it, Libra. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you would like a look at your own personal situation, again, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yale, take care. Mwah. Bye.